Good afternoon. We are working with area today. And we're answering the question, what is area and how do I calculate it? Well, area is the space covered by something that has two dimensions, length and width. For example, a rug has area. How do I find out how much area something has? I'm going to leave that to you. Let's take a look. The smallest rug here we have is a three foot long by two foot wide small oriental rug. Its area is six feet. Stop a second and ask yourself, how can three and two and six be related? Now take a look at the medium sized rug. In this case it's a four foot wide rug and a six foot long rug. It's four by six feet and has an area of 24 feet. So ask yourself, how are 6 and 4 and 24 related? Finally, let's take a look at the big rug. It's 8 feet wide and 10 feet long. It's an 8 by 10 rug and it has an area of 80 feet. What do 8 and 10 and 80 have in common? Well, you've probably guessed by now that 3 times 2 is 6, and 6 times 4 is 24, and 10 times 8 is 80. And that we calculate area by multiplying one side times the side next to it. And there it is. Area of a square rectangle is found by multiplying one side times another side that it touches. You can't do the side across from it. It's got to be touching. You're going to want to stop the video now. You're going to need to write in the definition of what area is into your notebook. And you're also going to need to write down what you see it read at the top right now. The area of a square rectangle is found by multiplying one side times another side it touches. So let me take a second and prove to you how this works. Here's a rectangle on the left. Let's say it's 2 inches wide and 3 inches long. You know that 2 times 3 is 6. And in fact, if I look, here's 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you can see that that rectangle has an area of 6 inches, 6 square inches in fact. Let's take a look at the square on the right. This one measures 3 inches by 3 inches because it's a square and their sides are congruent. This time we could count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's 3 wide it's three long. It has a total of nine squares, which means its area is nine square inches. Now, I could consistently find the area of a figure by counting the number of squares involved. And that's fine if I'm doing two times three or three times three, but what if the numbers are bigger? What if I've got to do our classroom, which is about 30 feet wide and 25 feet long? I don't want to try to draw 30 lines and then 25 lines. It would make a mess. I'd never be able to count them all, and there's no way of knowing I'd be accurate unless I knew they were exactly even. So we need to revert to one, something we've learned lately, and that's multiplication. So we would need to take 30 and multiply it times 25. The fact that these two aren't written in doesn't really hurt anything, but this is, according to the hash marks there, 30 feet, and this is also 25 feet, but I'm not doing perimeter, I'm doing area, which means I need to multiply this times that. So we're going to take 30, and we're going to multiply it times 25. I've done my first row, 5 times 0 is 0, and 5 times 3 is 15. Next, we'll drop our 0, because we're multiplying by 20, not by 2. 2 times 0 is 0 and 2 times 3 is 6. Add them up and you will see very quickly that this rectangle or our classroom has an area of 750, 750 what? 750 feet squared. So here's one for you to try in your notebook. Caitlin's bedroom is being redone. She's getting fresh carpet. If her room is 15 feet wide and 18 feet long, how much carpet will be needed? Go ahead and stop the video, work this problem in your notebook, and then we'll check it. Well, if her room is a rectangle, 
and that's a very poorly drawn one, but you get the idea. It doesn't have to be artwork. The long side is 18, the short side is 15. Again, I don't want to try drawing 18 lines in here, or 15 that way. That would be crazy. I know how to multiply. I'm going to take 18, and I'm going to multiply it times 15. Now, if you didn't do this in your notebook the right way this time, that's okay. But, go ahead and add this into that. We know that 5 times 8 is 40. Bring up our 4. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 plus 4 is 9. Cross that out because it's in the way. We're not multiplying by 1. We're multiplying by 10. So I'm putting my 0 there. 1 times 8 is 8. 1 times 1 is 1. I'm going to add that. 0. 8 and 9 is 17. Caitlin will need... 270 square feet of carpeting to cover her bedroom floor. So what have we done today? Well, we've talked about what area is, and it's the amount of space covered by something that's two-dimensional. How do we calculate it? Well, if you're doing a rectangle or a square, you simply multiply one side times the other side that's touching it. And that's it. Have an awesome afternoon.